someone. I'm jumping down. Yeah, we do. Um, no, Selby. Puns is like 6 HP. Oh. Hey, behind you, Selby. Selby, Yep, yeah, there we go. Tubble's low, Tubble's low. If you can kill Tubble's low. Oh, Tubble's low. Tubble's super low. Yeah, Selby! Yes! We won! Easy! Yay! Selby, you're I don't know what I told you. If we were to talk about one of the most improved players in the tournament, there would always be a name that is mentioned a lot. Suvi. Now, Suvi really starts from the bottom at the beginning of the tournament, but has now become a contender as the next top player in the very competitive scene. But how did she get from then to now? Well, let's talk about how she came about in the tournament in the first place. As with the rise of SMPs such as SMP Earth, Sui was one of the people who are relatively well known in SMP Earth and has collaborated with so many people in the past, especially on the server itself. She was also known in other games such as in CSGO and Valorant. She really is a gamer girl after all. And that came MCC. As with the roster at the time being somewhat dominated by people from SMP Earth and SMP Live, Suvi was one of the players that came from the server itself and debuted in MCC too. And as with the MCC wiki says, she debuted with a broken arm. With her debut, she was teamed with one of her closest server mate, Krinios. Her debut placement in that event was a whooping 37th place. Yep, I think her broken arm was a nerf in a way, yeah. Her next event was an improvement in the slices with her finally getting a sense with some of the games, from whole new world to rocket spleef. And she really did perform well in that event. But then came MCC5. Yeah, okay, to be honest, according to the stats I have, yeah, she died in SG first. The team's first sense of time runs was okay, but nevertheless, it was very lower compared to her time in MCC3. But let's just not dwell on that much though, because things are going to get better in like the next couple of events here. So then came MCC6. One of my favorite MCC because of the decision to music, we got herself, Tommy, Mini Muka, and Krinios. She did relatively similar compared to MCC5. And then we have MCC7 with the infamous TNT and Twitter voting one with Dream Team. Yeah, you know them. Yeah, Dream Team. And yeah, this event, MCC7, was also the event that she got to know the Dream Team more. Especially with banter with Sapnap, like a bunch of banter with Sapnap in later months or so. In that event, she did very really well, coming in in 29th. And then we have MCC8, which we are back with Krinos again. This time with Fundy and Kaura. And also, this event is where this legendary clip originates. You know what? I feel as though... We're at the point where we're so far ahead. We don't really have to worry about things, do we? Thank you. This is actually not bad. Oh my god. I like your up house. Can we get one side of it? <laughs> not quite. We can, we can, oh we can. Look, 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 look. Okay, hold on, hold on. Make it like that. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'll put the tripod. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. And that build appeared again in All Stars. Or concrete. If you don't have time, don't do it. But if you're like there, yeah, I'm right next to it. I need like one or two. It's fine. Oh, shoot. No that's problem. okay. We did a little bit of it, and that's all that mattered. What's up, house? <gasps> they added up house! Wait, is that real? They added up house! Up Wait, house. this is up house! They added my up house! Oh my god, I didn't even notice! MCC9, we got the up house duo of Fundy and herself back. As was with Dream and the man without his Lamanberg skin, Tubble. Really, yeah? No, no Lamanberg skin. Tommy was so pissed on that. Aside from the second place in Hole Nouveau in that event, unfortunately, their survival games and sense of time were really, really rough, which makes it not great in the slightest, I would say. And then MCC 10. Okay, this event was another unfortunate one to say the least, especially towards the end, even though her placements was equally the same as with MCC 3. Her chemistry was way off, especially in sense of time, in which it was her breaking point. 
And with this, this could be a spark for her to do better in the tournament. As after this event, and the beginning of Season 2, she really became stronger than ever. And with that, we are going to pass by MCC11 and MCC13 real quick. You know, MCC11 for fun team, Cordery Spence, James Charles, yeah. MCC13 was a calamity festivity special with a long forgotten Oli Ori on sale, returning after way way too long. And then we have Season 2. And this is where everything went smoothly well, as she really improved upon herself a lot. MCC14 and 15 were relatively rough up events for her as she get back to swing of things. In MCC14, they won Build Mart. Hey, that's an achievement. And MCC15, she suffered from some connection issues which nerfed her in a way. Both of these events, she came around the 30s. But hey, Paco tag anyone? And you might want to start making your way towards our spawn maybe. Just to build that distance. In case SB gets oh, tagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a little again. Let's go. All right, let's go. 15 seconds. Dude, I, I love being a hunter. If anyone wants to spare their, their spile, I'm, I'll take it. Then came MCC16. Now, do you remember that chemistry between her and Sapnap in MCC7? Yep. As time goes by, they really became good friends with games and real life stuff. Including now as well, with her participation in Squidcraft and as well as, you know, casually baking cupcakes with Hannah and George. And with this, she became more comfortable recently in the teams that she was put in with a good solid chemistry all around. And after her dedication towards what we being and practicing, those factors led to very good performances from her. And it starts right here. MCC 16. There's, there's so many teams. It's closing like, in. Shit. There's so don't many mind me, teams. Don't mind me eating this. La la la. You're doing so great. Messy. You're doing great. I got a kill. Okay, watch it. TNT oh, on your oh, team. What are you doing? <laughs> Sylvia, you're cracked. <crying. laughs> Keep throwing shit at them. Hide in the fountain with Don't Sylvia. Oh right. my god. Hide in the fountain. Hide in the fountain, Sylvia. Ship, 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 ship. Coming up. There's, there's one they're behind you. They're, they're, they're in the fountain. fountain. The fountain, Sylvia. And, and their careers. Oh, uh, nice. Whatever. That was really good, though. I got three kills. I finished nice. the third place. Incredible. <laughs> fountain strat. That's Let's it. fucking go. Yep. Her staying in the middle was the play, since engaging really cost them some coins. And if this is an modern system, this could be a second team placement coins right there. Also, here's a cheeky little build mark clip from her and Sapnap. And then granite. I'll get granite. You get granite. Okay, it's granite. I said I'll get granite. I thought you didn't like snow. That's why I did that. I'll get. You go grab the one that has the most. All right, I'll get everything. You can. You can shut up. I get everything. You can shut up. I'm getting birch. You shut up. I'm stone right now. Can you get me normal stone? Sylvie is just lazy. She sees like, oh, that's a lot of birch. I thought you didn't last time. You were like, I don't even know what diorite is, so I'll just pick that. What? Who is it? Who is it? Why are we? Why are why are no, and I and our team together? We're just gonna fight the whole time. Yep, they are fighting. Yeah, this is the chemistry in the works right here. At the end, she came. You guessed it, seventeenth. That really is a huge improvement compared to her season one times. Really, and that doesn't stop there. MCC eighteen, she was team with Sapnap again, but this time with Scott and Turbo, and oh boy. Did she play her art out in helping the team to get a perfect game of battle box to a clutch of a century? Alright, I'm, I'm... Wait, run, 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 run! I got out. Oh, Sam not just got out. I'm Don't not gonna get out. Wait, press the sand! Put the sand on the server! Sand! 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 Nice! You're gone, you're good. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and after all those events in season 1, it all leads to this, Dodgebolt against Slime Leeches. This is her first time in Dodgebolt, and really, it was her very first win. A free Twitch Prime subscription! Everyone! Just <laughs> yes! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god! What the heck? Oh my god! This proves that she really has motivation to start to be more competitive. MCC All-Stars, one of the toughest events, she got 19th, 
out of many many good players, which is really nice. MCC21, she teamed Dream, Tommy, and Gumi, and in that event, the remix was really in favor for her. Pete's lit. They did a good strat there. They blocked it off with. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game! Holy shit! Wait, Ace, okay, Ace, wait. let me Ace, let me Ace! Let me Ace! Okay, I'm Let's go! Sure. I'm so fucking good! MCC22, with the golden gals of herself, Blushy, G, and Jojo, was also another good one, in which she finally get to feel what some top movement players feel in Ace Race. MCC 23, we have a casual Interpol clutch for her in Sky Battle, which was not that known to most, but hey, it is now. This is terrible. I was, I was muted. Wait, we're okay. Bad. You're our, you're you're in there. Why was I muted? I don't know. <laughs> Things you've got. Scott's behind you. Oh. Calming everything. Wait, I killed Foolish also, apparently. Oh, nice. Good wait, job, wait, I got a lot Sylvie. of kills. Wait, I got another kill. Come on, Sylvie. Wait, Sylvie alive? Wait, alive? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, yeah. MCC 24, she became used to the game that is Meltdown, in which she garnered six kills and helped the team to really dominate the game. MCC25, she is a sub in, and it really boosts the team a lot. From a casual ace in meltdown. God. I hated you, I hated you, I hated you, I hated you. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh nice my gosh, I got hit, I got hit, I got hit, I got nice. hit. Nice. Good job, Sylvia. I'm, I'm hitting here. Can you hit me? Yeah, yeah. I'm watching, I'm watching the other angles. Oh, How am I not? Line. Can we just heat her? I'm pushing her. Just, just heat, just heat her. Oh, no, 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 team, 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 team. The light blue team is here. The light blue team is here. To her participation in dodgeball, and yeah, that event was her best performance in the event yet. You see, very scoring, right? Really competitive indeed, right? MC Seven Twenty Six. We got her own costume, as you know. Did we not come? Okay, and yeah, in that event. She, you know, casually is a team, getting many kills, and after all, compare this to them. This was a really a drastic difference for her battle box performances. And to send it off, MCC28 with the girls, and yeah, she also sent off with a cheeky little Minecraft parody with Hannah. Want to mine? I want to mine diamonds. I want to mine. Yeah, I want to mine diamonds. Be the From then to now, Siwi has become better than ever before. With her being way better in PV games, such as Battlebox and Meltdown, which these two are also her favorite games. Her movement also improved as well, shown with her time in Parkour Attack and Sense of Time. Even though, yeah, it's not a movement game, but really, movement is necessary, so hey. Her trait of being movement and PP focused eventually landed in so many phenomenal performances and more, as well as relationships and collabs that were built upon her time in the Minecraft space, MCC space, and many more, including her direction of content to be more creative driven and Spanish driven as well. Yeah, after learning Spanish as well as participating in that Squidcraft event. Yeah, she's really looking towards speaking more. Looking back at her in Season 1, and to see her right now, it really is a night and day for her. And oh boy, one day, she will crack that top 10 spot. One day. This is the story of Sylvie.